Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed Sami Angawi. I'm the program director at the House of Traditional Arts. What we're trying to do right now is we documenting the patterns that exist in uh, the old district of Jeddah, which is called Al-Balad. And we're looking at different uh, houses and mosques. In this video, we're going to be looking at the six-fold pattern that exists in Ribat al khunj al-Sagheer. It's a tessellated pattern, so we can start with the one unit, and we see how it tessellate and develop into the plaster uh, carving that we see in the Ribat. So this is actually the basic grid that we use for the, the six-fold pattern, and it's called the Flower of Life, and usually you see it in on most of the doors. So this is the first unit. And from this first unit, you can see how it tessellates to develop the patterns in there. And you can see already the form, the shape that we have developed on the sides. So we're going to start with the first circle. Any place in its diameter, we'll do another circle. You will see it will have to go through its center again. So each point that intersect with it, I will do another circle. And it intersected here. I will do another circle here. six circles around one circle in the middle and we're going to keep adding another circles to let it grow as well so starting from those points at the end we're going to do other circles This is what we need in order to extend the line to develop our own pattern. But before we go ahead, we need to do the same process steps here, here, and here. And we connect them together to get the shape. So as you can see here, we, we finished the first unit using the grid. And when we expand the grid, again, using the same principle we use, we can always tessellate it. And this is just to give an idea. It's the same pattern here. So when you tessellate it, it will fit perfectly on the other. And you can keep going and tessellating in all the sides. You can see it here. You can see it here as well. Thank you. 